the debate today. All right, representing. So in my 23 years as an educator, I have learned an awful lot about instruction. Part of what I've learned is that it matters exactly how we engage students. She tries to get you to have different opinions. She tries to get you to think, like regardless of the color of your skin, your political views, she tries to get you engaged. If somebody sees Black Student Union, what's the first thing they're gonna think? It's, only for it's just for Black students. But I think you mentioned you want people who are going to uplift and support Black voices, right? I describe her as someone who realizes that teaching happens with relationships first. And so one of the things that Natalie is doing for our school right now is moving away from these more traditional discipline practices towards a more restorative justice school system that focuses less on punishment for behaviors and more about how do we build community. So I work with teachers who are at the beginning of their career, and then I work with teachers who may feel like they've tried every single thing. Whether it's for engagement in the classroom that can improve the culture and the climate, or they're doing something and they don't even realize that they have microaggressions in the classroom. And I believe in my role, they need that partnership. And when I come in, it doesn't feel like an evaluation. It just feels like you have a friend there. The impact of her work motivates and inspires not just her students, but her peers. I am Miss JB and I am strong and courageous. The goal of the affirmation circles that I like to do and part of my role as restorative justice is to get people to recognize their power. I believe if you put things out there, you're gonna start to internalize that. Miss JB, she's strong and courageous. Part two of that is having the person affirm you. It's about seeing each other as fellow humans. The most important thing that we're doing in the schools is not teaching math, science, social studies, and English. It's critical, but we also have to understand people because this is about a world where we have to be able to listen to each other. My freshman year, my dad died, and so I wasn't doing like the best at the time. She constantly told me it was all gonna be okay, everything's gonna work out. What I really needed was someone to listen and she was that person. When I was having a really challenging time in high school, I was bullied, except for a few teachers in my life. No one even noticed, but those teachers, they changed something in me and they made me believe that I could be someone and that's what led me to become a school board member to fight for the rights of other students who feel like they're not seen like me. I am pursuing a doctorate degree and it's because education is vital, it can free you. We need more teachers like Ms. JB. Because teachers are the ones who makes differences and it's teachers like JB that kids will remember.